Alright guys, just doing some detecting now at a local park in a small town. Um, I've already come here once before and found 25 cents. <laughs> but anyway, it's just near an old an old hole as well. So it could be anything here. It's been dropped over the years. Um, got the GoPro, sorry, the GoFind rather. Yep. Um, I'll be showing you the settings of that soon. But first I've just got to talk to you about something real sucky. No one talk, likes talking about it, but it's about subscribers on YouTube and how we get paid for making videos and stuff like that. Well, as of February the 20th, um, you'll be no longer uh, eligible to receive money for your videos unless you've got over 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of uh, views. Um, so that's kind of a sucky thing, no one likes to talk about it, but uh, it's to support the community, the YouTube community, and uh, to see more videos like this, to keep uh, to keep you guys entertained and happy and, <laughs> and all that. Um, I've checked, my, I can see the stats on the computer, um, and only 3% of viewers of my videos are actually subscribed, so that leaves 97% of people not subscribed, so I understand a lot of you, well, you viewers are, are, are older, are an older generation and might not be technically inclined, um, perhaps I'm, there's probably videos up on how to make a YouTube channel so you can subscribe and support videos and, and content creators like this. So it's a sucky thing to talk about again, um, but I just have to say it. So um, if you can, you can, you guys can support me. I can keep progressing with my content and you know keeps it going both ways. So <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. So anyway. Now into the nitty gritty, I'm going to show you what I'm doing, switch on, it's just going to switch on the side there for, for the go find, last time I used it, I still got this, this peel, the uh, protective thing on there, no point taking it off unless it's getting a bit ratty like that, anyway, no, whoops, what was that, something going on over there, anyway, a bit of wildlife, um, what have I done? Oh, pinpoint. Right. So, this is my settings. That means this is your discrimination, obviously. So, that means you're picking up your ferrous objects like iron and stuff. Uh, that one's tin foil. I found five cent and ten cent pieces on that signal. Um, that's been twenty cent, fifty cent pieces. I haven't actually found any rings yet. But I'll keep going. Hopefully I'll find one eventually. Plenty of pull tabs. Uh, that's been one dollar, two dollar coins, and one cent pieces I've found on that signal. So what if you what happens sorry, what you do is you push that one. Now all those signals that it reads of that, that'll it won't come through the speakers. So it could be screws and nails around wherever, you won't hear it because that's just turned that signal off. Same with these, these two here. Um, if you don't want any aluminium, you'll just turn that one off. If you don't want any pull tabs, just turn that one off. But obviously you're going to miss, potentially, all those other coins and stuff too. It depends on, on what you want to do. Um, yeah, is that, yeah, yeah. And this one does have a Bluetooth function. Um, that's a pretty cool function. But I end up just using my earphones plug straight in there anyway. Um, the I think the lower lowest model of the GoFind, um, does it go find 20 or something? Um, doesn't support the Bluetooth, but that's alright. Um, and what I do is sensitivity two or three. I find anything much higher than that. I as I swing. Oops, something going on there. Um, as I swing left and right, I get a bit of a false signal. 
so I'll leave it lower to lower sort of sensitivity. So um, yeah, that's all it is to it basically. It's a really simple unit, very light. Um, anyone can use it. <laughs> um, uh, and what I'm looking for is, hang on if I can get a, yeah, so I got a signal. See those three arrows that were up there before? That indicates roughly how deep it is. So what I'm looking for is that one arrow bar to um, to be a strong one arrow bar. Well, sorry, I'll, <laughs> I'll rephrase that. A strong signal, clear signal at the one the one arrow depth bar. Um, which indicates to me that it'll most likely be a, a good a, a coin. Uh, or will I miss deeper targets that possibly treasure? Yeah, maybe, but for for this area, um, I'm imagining a lot of the lost stuff will be sort of within an inch or so of the surface, so um, I'm not too fussed about how deep it goes so I can leave I could probably even go sensitivity one or two if I'm only going stuff close to the surface so yeah all right enough of me blabbing it on I'm gonna get out there try and find some stuff for you guys and peace all right been going for a while now maybe 20 minutes and just found one penny it's very very old you can't really make out what it is but Pretty sure it's a one penny, or maybe even twenty cents. <laughs> twenty cents would be worth more than one penny in this state. It is. <laughs> so that was cool. I was just right there. I'm using me pinpointer there. Those were the settings. I was getting that signal there. Just by this old bench here. So. I'm pretty happy about that. Cool. On to the next one. Well, I just dug up this lead bar, I think. I assume it's lead bar. Be nice it's a silver bar, but I doubt it. Got that down eight inches. It's real heavy. <laughs> So, no idea what it'll be for, or be off of. Has no holes in it. But, it does have that slight bow in it like that. Looks like that was the way it was facing as it was poured. You can see that lip on there. So, any idea what that is? Looks to be, sorry, looks to be very grey in colour, like lead. Yeah, hit it with a pick here. There we go. Doesn't appear to have oxidised look to it, but yeah, no idea what that would be there for. But <laughs> any ideas? Leave a comment. <laughs> and we got our first one dollar coin. Just by this old picnic bench. From 1984. Yep. Cool. It's a modern find, but it's a find nonetheless. It's a really nice signal. Alright, I need. I you know, found a few other pull tabs and stuff up there, but I'll keep going. There's bound to be more treasure here. Right, got a 50 cent piece from 1980. Oh, shut up, big pointer. Yeah, 1980. And stupid me hit it with a pick. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't a good old coin or something, <laughs> like a sovereign or something. Not that I've ever found one, but anyway, that was that signal. Shut up! Alright, I'm going to go for a little bit longer. 
All right, guys, that's it for another video. Um, silver bar, <laughs> bit of trash, a dollar, dollar fifty one pence, cent, something. Pull tabs, this really cool old Coca Cola bottle top. And I've never seen one of them before, but that's pretty cool. Red one, smaller one. Yep, not a bad outing, eh? So that's it for another one. Um, yeah, just remember to to subscribe. It's only a little thing that can go a long way, but you know, it has to be said. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, those are the finds I had, and um, the go. Co-find there is not a bad little machine, I reckon. So, you know, thank you very much.